Bro, Eden Zero just gets better and better and better. It doesn't stop. It can't be stopped. Hero is on a roll and he's not gonna end it until the series ends. But enough with the preemptive praise, it is time to get into the chapter. Well, would that even actually be considered preemptive praise? Because I read it and you probably read it, so who knows? But enough with the praise for right now, we'll get back into praising later. So this chapter opens up with Daigo, Seth, and Maria easily being defeated. I honestly don't know what I was talking about in the previous video. I don't know what I was on saying that Seth, Daigo, and Maria, maybe they were holding back against Witch and that now they can do something nah bro they were giving it their all and they got clapped like a standing ovation and this time they got clapped even worse because maria was just knocked out cold she wasn't doing anything daigo was laying on the ground sweating as rebecca was explaining the whole situation because he knew he couldn't do anything seth tried to get into the mainframe but hermit was just like hey let me delete your file i already see you like it was way way worse for them this time around after that rebecca then explains drake and joe's power and what he was after which was obviously Rebecca's ether gear since he can take the power of the ether gear and use it for his own doing. Also, while she's explaining this, Master Noah is brought up in the conversation because Pino asks, how did Drake and Joe know about Rebecca's power when she herself didn't really know about it? Then Rebecca answers saying, I suspect Master Noah told him about it. And then Hamura asks, yes, but then how would Noah know? And Rebecca says, yeah, I don't know either. Now the talk about Master Noah didn't really go anywhere, but I wanted to bring it up because I love the way that Hero was like referencing Master Noah so much. Like all this talk about Master Noah is getting me so hyped for when the crew eventually meet him. I want to know what his powers are and I want to know if I was onto something in my previous Eden Zero video when I brought up that theory about Master Noah maybe remembering the events that happen in a previous timeline if Rebecca makes the uh, the leap. Basically I just want to know everything about him and what he's up to. Anyways back to the story. So Rebecca then talks about the element four and then she brings up Jin. And Sister immediately catches this and then says, wait a minute. And then she starts talking to Moscow or Moscow or however you want to say his name. And she starts prying him for information about Jin because they were both on the same team, Rogue Out. And Moscow spills the beans about how Jin needed somebody to be healed. That's why he was with a fake sister. And then Sister's like, okay, we can capitalize on that. If I agree to help him, he might just switch over to our side. Are we about to have my boy Jin join the easy crew? Let's get it. I don't know how real of a possibility that is though. And actually to pump the brakes on that, I don't even know how real of a possibility it is that he would even momentarily join their side because we don't know the situation with Clean. I mean, from what we can tell, it doesn't even look like she needs to be healed. Maybe she's got like a, a mental illness or like um, maybe Drake and Joe gave her some like thing and that's slowly killing her. I don't know. It doesn't look like she needs to be healed, but we'll find that out later. However, to get back to the story, even with this idea, Rebecca still doesn't see a way how they can beat Drake and Joe. He's just too powerful. And then Shiki steps up to the plate and he says, really? Because I see a way. I have a plan. <laughs> and this dude's plan is the best kind of plan. A full on assault. He does a 180 with the easy ship and he flies it straight towards Drake and Joe's. And Drake and Joe's like, are they insane? But the dude that's with him is like, no worries. Our ship's armor is so much better. And Drake and Joe cuts him off and he's like, no, are you kidding me? The easy ship is stronger than ours. They're gonna burst right through our shields. And then we get this sick panel of every single member of the easy crew. They are ready to attack. This is why you have to have faith in the easy story. You just have to. We are going to see every single member of the Shining Stars in action, as well as Moscow or Moscow, again, however you want to say it. They are going to be fighting alongside the main crew for the first time ever. Ever. After that, we get an amazing panel of the Eden Zero ship smashing right into Drake and Joe's. They just burst through that thing's shields, bro. It's incredible. But the charge does not stop there. They aim directly for the tower that Drake and Joe is in. And then the chapter just stops, bro. But I actually have to say this information because it doesn't actually just stop. Drake and Joe tells his men to kill all of them except for number 30. I don't understand this number 30 thing. I don't know what it could mean. Rebecca hasn't used Leaper 30 times. Is it like the amount of possible timelines that she could travel to? Like, are there 30? I don't get it, bro. <laughs> you know what? In the And you know what? In the comment section down below, leave your best theories about what the numbers tied to Rebecca could mean. But anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.